one of the programs on the iPad that you might be using a lot is an application called Numbers. And basically all Numbers is, and I've addressed this in a different uh, different video, but I'll show you a bit longer of a tutorial. This a uh, program called Numbers. So I've just gone and I've searched, oops, there we go, just searched Numbers. And it's the application there with that little bar graph beside it. And basically all Numbers is, is it's a spreadsheet application uh, for the iPad. So as you can see we can for example create a spreadsheet and we have all these different layouts uh, that it's going to allow us to use. The one we're going to use for the most part is going to be just this blank spreadsheet. Okay. So I'll open up a new blank spreadsheet and here we've got pre-formatted columns and uh, like it's pre-formatted data table. So if you were doing an experiment or uh, some trial, for example, um, so I'll use the example of grade sevens are going to be building some towers and you're going to be putting weights in these towers. So you're going to have different designs of towers, right? You're going to have different changes or what have you. So you might say you might have one for um, example design one. One. Okay. And you might also have, oopsies, a uh, second design. So we'll say design two. Okay. And for grade sixes, if you're in the flight unit, you're going to be doing something very, very similar um, to that um, when you're designing wings and parachutes and whatnot. So then in the top column here, now scientists, right, like we talked about in class. We like to do more than one trial because we want to make sure that our results aren't just by chance, that they are in fact because of what we manipulated. So up here I'll say trial one, and over here, there we go, maybe trial two. Now in this tower, oopsies. Um, okay, that's okay. Um, so in this tower, now I also have the spreadsheet. You can go and rename the spreadsheet if you want. Um, as far as I know, we'll just double. Oh. Not what I want. It's always trying to go crazy. There we go. So there's the name. So rename spreadsheet. So I'll say um, tower design trials wait. Okay, so now I've named named that spreadsheet. I know what's in there. That's the towers that I'm designing, and that's going to be the weight that they've been able to hold. So trial one, for example, let's say that trial one I was able to fit in, we'll say 105 grams weight. Okay. And trial two I've replicated and I've gotten 108 grams of weight. Okay. Now design two, so I've done that and I said okay well can I do better? Well now maybe I've gotten 136 grams and trial two maybe 142 grams we'll say. Okay. That's basically how you're going to be entering data into a table. Um, now we can graph this as well. I'm not going to show you how to do that. I will in a different tutorial if I decide that we will do that. Um, but quickly I'll show you again how we're going to get this. So first of all, we want to save this in the Dropbox, of course. Our little upload arrow, right? We're going to open another application. We're going to go to Excel. Okay, so here it goes. We're going to choose that application and we're going to open it in Dropbox. Okay. And of course, before you do this, make sure you're logged in. The other thing that I'll cancel that I want to show you how to do, and that I've done already, but um, if you're going to put this in your Weebly, I want you to take a screenshot. So, screenshot is so I'm going to take my phone and hold it on the freeze button at the top of the iPad, and I'm going to go to the menu button here, and then I'm going to click on both at the same time, hold it, release, and you saw the screen flash. So, I just took a screenshot. Um, and there is um, that other video of how to put that screenshot 
into your Dropbox and then load it up on the Weebly. So that's a quick little introduction to uh, the Numbers application.